stamp on it. So I just got this letter in the mail that has just my name on it. Um, and there's no stamp, so I guess this person just dropped this off and put it in my mailbox by hand, which is weird because it's locked. Oh, oh boy. Dear Ricky, I own a private Taekwondo studio in Fresno, California. My students and I watch your vlogs before every weekly class to get energized and loosen up. We've noticed, however, that you are notoriously unpredictable with your schedule. Though we have amazing group rates, some of the best staff in the country, and a, and a perfect location just off of I-75 with great parking, we wish, <laughs> we wish you posted more consistently. Maybe once a week? Maybe we could show them in our newly refurnished waiting room, complete with state-of-the-art juice bar, free Wi-Fi, and complimentary manicure and pedicures for the parents. Anyway, love the vlogs. Keep it up. Sincerely, Mike McMullen, owner, founder, manager, instructor, and masseuse at Mike's Rock and Roll Taekwondo LLC, Fresno, California. And then he just drew a map of California. <laughs> Pointed to Fresno. Yeah, Mike, I don't know how you got my address, and I don't think that I-75 goes through Fresno. <laughs> but I'm gonna address the, this, which is an issue, the fact that we're a little infrequent with our posting. Listen to me. So when we started here, you guys never saw it. But what we had going on was completely fucked up. Show them the footage of before the old computer. This happens the whole time. The whole time. This is why we missed a week. We gotta figure this out. We could vlog about getting a new computer. That's the footage. We want to stop cutting corners, you know, because we, we blew up. It already happened. And we need to, to have our technological side catch up to our fame. We're gonna go to Fry's Electronics. We're gonna buy state-of-the-art equipment, military-grade equipment for vlogging. So let's get started. Couple things, we hit 5,000 on the vlogs. Pretty good. Throw some applause in the background. Get this. We did it. Also, I don't know if you've if you heard this, Donald Trump is the president-elect. Do you think the moon landing really happened? <laughs> turn left on Clybourne Avenue. Turn left, Fuck. then turn left. I hate turning left. Turn left, then turn left. Fuck. Oh my God. Look what happened. A real UFO crashed into the building. <sighs> Don't put any of this. <laughs> How the fuck did it not break apart into pieces? What we need is to have our technological side catch up to our family. Look at this. Ridiculous. You can sit in there, man. I'm gonna sit in there like I'm gonna sit in the truck. I'm not a child. I'm a star. <laughs> I'm gonna sit for photographs. Good resist. I mean, I don't think there's no question. I think we need this. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get this. I'm just gonna get some keyboards. I think we get 16 of these on each side. We're gonna get one of these rooms for tests. We should get some of these. I just think we should cover all our bases. <laughs> you getting this? It's 500 pounds. <laughs> She's not even using it. She's just listening to music next to it. I think we should get it. About the break room? Freaky. Get this for the break room. Get a big propane tank. Get this for the break room. You're yeah, gonna get an office. Gonna get, yeah. Office building. For the vlog. Yeah. We'll rent out a whole floor. And then everywhere across the floor. Those guys. <laughs> Standing around looking at you. Get back to work. Remember who your boss is. It's me. You put him right outside your door. <laughs> Wake up. Remember who your boss is. I think we definitely need this one. Should we get a camera? Two? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll get an iPhone set up for it. <laughs> I don't know, man. It looks pretty intense. We're not going to cut any corners. 
<laughs> we're still gonna shoot off an iPhone. Well, we can't ruin the aesthetic. <laughs> but also, I'm not gonna pay for a camera. You know? Right. I'm not trying to spend money unnecessarily. <laughs> you're gonna buy a grill for the break room for the vlog office. <laughs> now you're gonna buy a camera for the vlog. <laughs> I'm trying to spend money wisely. <laughs> Wait. Look at all these. Oh. <laughs> See that? Yeah. That's what this is all about. All right. Bye, friend. Enough of the emails. Let's talk about the real issues facing America. What do you think of this? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a wrist rest. <laughs> this is how you use it. <laughs> no, yeah, it is. I'm not joking. No, man. You put this in front of a keyboard and you put your wrist on it like... No. <laughs> yes! It's not true. It's just the average arm. Well, it's also the average keyboard like... <laughs> Look at this. The turn around. It's too long. Turn around. <laughs> There's... Presenting the size compared to a keyboard here. <laughs> they use that? Weird. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. You know, whenever like the staff brings their kids to work. Boom. That's how we get all of them. <laughs> what do you need? You need the editor. I mean, this is really just for you. Yeah, just that computer, man. That's it. That's all you need? Oh, I guess I got ahead of myself. I mean... Let's not focus on it. Let's get you the computer. I will say, saying that you're gonna buy all the puzzles, so the staff's kids... <laughs> It's an investment in our future. Yeah, so I have any question? Any help? We are looking for just like a really high powered computer to work on documentaries and stuff like okay. that. What's the price range? Because we um, have like very powerful up to 3,500. You know, whatever you got. Okay. Most expensive is fine. Mm. That's good. Do you want to head back to the car while I check out? What are they going to bring it up? What? <laughs> well, I didn't actually have any money. They, I, I figured they were gonna like loan it to us because they've seen the vlogs and stuff and they understand that we're good for it. But no, they were like, no. They said, that doesn't make any sense. We are a, we are a business. <laughs> and we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and I said, well, this place sucks ass anyway. <laughs> left okay and they were like all right <laughs> yeah. yeah so i mean we'll just have to come back when we have money oh last episode we had for our comment section we had the smart wall new invention is down for maintenance right now and so we decided this time we're gonna do the comments in andrew's bed so i'm gonna i want to get in the bed and i i'm gonna read the comments from this position, computer please. So the question this week was, tell us one of your deepest, most personal fears. First fear is, my fear is that Trump will win, but I have no power to stop it. Well, Joe, he won. Next one, Najla Allah says, I'm Sakura of Elevators. <laughs> Next question is, or answer is, Luke Look says, I'm a part-time janitor and I fear that I'll remain that way. Boring, shitty, dead-end job. Look, look. I don't know what to tell you, except if you're not happy with your job, maybe time to get a, another job. Network. Get the hell out of there, Luke. Next question, answer. Martin Roning says, I'm afraid my house will collapse. Like in the movies. Martin. <laughs> Martin, that's fucking ridiculous. But yeah, that'd be scary. That does it for the questions and answers. Next week, we want you guys to, to answer the question, what is the smallest thing that could happen to you that would make you commit murder and kill a person in cold blood on purpose? What's the pettiest reason you would commit murder?
What's up, man? You had an issue with this? You got a fucking problem, man? What's wrong with you? You into this? You wanna say something, man? Not just fucking stand there like an idiot? Say something, man?